Hi, my name is Justin Schaaf and I'm the engineering lead at PatchMyPC. We develop a third-party patch management solution that integrates into Microsoft Configuration Manager. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question we get quite often from our customers as well as other Config Manager admins within the community about how you can use a code signing certificate that we use in WSUS to publish our third-party updates, but using a certificate created from your internal PKI uh, using Active Directory Certificate Services, or even an external CA such as DigiCert. So with that said, we'll go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that I'm looking at here is my Certificate Authority that we're using for Active Directory Certificate Services. This is gonna be where we create our template that we're gonna to use to request the code signing certificate. So the first option we do is click on our certificate templates and then choose to manage them. The certificate template that we're going to base this off of is a code signing certificate because when we publish these third party updates to WSUS, we need to code sign the CAB file that all the updates get pushed into. Um, so this is going to be a code signing certificate type. So we're going to right click on that one and choose to duplicate. We do need to make sure that we leave the uh, certification authority at Windows Server 2003 for the compatibility. Under the general tab, we can go ahead and give the certificate a name. So I'm just gonna call it Config Manager WSUS Code Signing. You need to set the validity to whatever makes sense in your environment. Within this demo, we're gonna do five years. So you, once that time period is up, you would have to go create a new certificate and export it uh, to ensure that it's still valid once we hit that deadline. Under the request handling, we need to allow the private key to be exported because when we request this as a user, we need to export that to a PFX file that we import into WSUS to use for the code signing cert. Under the cryptography, we need to ensure that the key length is at least 2048 in order to be compatible with code signing for WSUS. Under the subject name, since we're gonna be requesting this as a user, the default attribute is gonna to be to create the subject name based on the user principal name. Um, instead of doing that, what I'm gonna do is say that I can define the subject name for the certificate within the request, because this really isn't designed to be a code signing cert for a specific user. Uh, this is gonna allow me to rename the subject name to something like config manager WSUS signing. So it makes more sense. Under the security tab, we need to define who can actually enroll this code signing cert and export it. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna just assign a user, Justin. I'm gonna give him read permissions and enroll permissions. Now, if you wanted a config manager admin group, for example, to uh, do this, you could use a group instead of a, a specific user if you wanted. So that looks good. Uh, we'll go ahead and do okay. We'll close out of our templates and we're gonna right click our certificate templates and then choose new and then template to issue. So we're gonna go ahead and select that code signing template that we just created and get that issued so it would be available for enrolling on our devices. So in order to actually do the enrollment, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump over to my software update point. I'm currently logged in as that user, Justin. So I'm gonna open the user certificate certificate store. There we go. So under the personal node uh, within the certificate stores, I'm gonna right click all task and request new certificate. Within here, I'm gonna leave active directory enrollment policy as the uh, requestment point and then choose next. Okay. Now we can see that config manager WSUS code signing cert is now available, but we do notice that we have to configure some more information before we enroll it. That's because we configured the option to uh, supply the subject name in the request. So what I'm gonna do for the subject name, we're gonna go ahead and choose the common name. And let me go ahead and copy this in. And we're gonna give it the same common name that we created for the certificate. So config manager WSUS code signing. Under the general tab, I'm gonna also go ahead and paste the same name in there for the friendly name and the description and choose okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on enroll. And that's gonna go ahead and enroll this certificate as my user. So now in order to actually export this cert and use it within WSUS, we're gonna right click that template uh, for this certificate and choose to export. Within the export wizard, we do need to make sure that we export the private key because we need that in order to import that into WSUS for signing. We're gonna leave the default, so it's gonna export it to a PFX file and we'll give it a password. 
Okay. And then we'll choose where we want to save this to. So I'm going to call this internal WSUS code signing and then save that to my desktop and then finish and then okay. So at this point we are all set for our certificate. So if we come into config manager, now with the 1806 release of config manager, there is this new option where you can have config manager manage your certificates. So within the administration tab under your site, you can right click your site and then configure site components and then software update point. Now, if we look at the third party updates tab, there's this new option to allow config manager to manage the certificate that's used for WSUS. Now, what's important about this in the current 1806 release, there's no ability to import a PFX certificate that you create from a external certificate authority like we just did. So we have submitted a DCR request to the product group uh, and they do, they are tracking this so that um, in the future, hopefully to a current branch update, you have the ability somewhere within the console to import a PFX file. If you had config manager manage the cert and there was no cert created, it would generate a self-signed certificate and automatically distribute that to your clients instead of using one from a certificate authority. So in order to actually use the certificate that we, uh, that we exported, we would have to use a different method for importing that. So you could either use system center update publisher or our publishing service. Now our publishing service is quite simple, uh, probably slightly easier to get this certificate imported. So once you install the MSI, um, in order to import this certificate from your CA, we have this option here to import a PFX certificate. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And then we're gonna browse out to that certificate from our internal uh, certificate authority that we exported. So once you browse to that, you're gonna have to enter in the password and then choose okay. And then we're gonna call the WSUS API to tell it to use that uh, certificate from your certificate authority that you exported instead of using a self-signed certificate. Now, if you already had one in place, we would be able to just go ahead and overwrite that cert. So at this point, you should be good to go. Um, so we could go ahead and close out of our publishing service. Uh, and if you wanted to use Config Manager for publishing instead of our service, at that point, you could just uninstall the service if you only wanted to use that for importing the certificate. So at this point, uh, we have Config Manager still set to manage the cert. So what's gonna happen now that we've imported that cert from our utility, the next time the software update point syncs, which I'll force here, Config Manager is gonna automatically read that code signing cert that we imported into our site using our utility. So we'll go ahead and look at the WSync Manager log and we should see it read that certificate and then automatically start deploying that to your client so they trust it. So there we go, looks like that is all set. So we can see that, hey, it found this new WSUS cert that was imported, and then Config Manager is still gonna be able to manage that cert uh, and deploy that to your clients to ensure that it's all trusted and you're ready to deploy and publish third-party updates. So we should be good at this point. Now, if we come back to our console and we open up our sites and look back at the software update point, we should now see information about the certificate that we're using, right? So this is gonna be the one that we issued from our local certificate authority, and we can also see the thumbprint of it as well. All right, so that looks good. Now, just to verify that this will work successfully, what we can do, we can come into our catalogs and we'll go ahead and add our trial catalog. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in the metadata for that. Uh, let me just move this over so we can get to the next page. So we'll go ahead and add that and subscribe to that catalog. And then what we'll do, once we're subscribed and we have updates syncing, we're just gonna verify that when these updates get published, they are in fact using our certificate that we generated from our certificate authority internally. So we'll go ahead and subscribe to that. And at this point, the updates are gonna start automatically publishing in the background. So we'll come back once that's finished. All right, so looking at our SMS ISV updates agent, we can see that all the third-party updates from our trial catalog were published to our site. So jumping over to all software updates now, what we can do is a quick synchronization to verify that these third-party updates now come into our site. So if we look back at WSync Manager log, we should start seeing these third-party updates that we published from our catalog start flowing into our site. There we go. Um, so we can see those updates all came in. Now, if we go ahead and refresh the all software updates, 
Uh, the updates uh, with Config Manager in 18.06, they automatically only publish with metadata only. So in order to actually verify that we're using our new certificate when we publish with full content, we can right click one of those updates that came in and choose to publish the third party software update content. So if we look back at our SMS ISV sync agent log, this is where we're gonna see the actual third party update binary download and publish. All right, we gave that a minute for it to download and publish the file, but we can verify it published and it was successful and completed. So if we actually look at where that published, if we look at our WSUS content folder, the update will actually get published into the WSUS content folder. So if we look at the cap file for the update for 7-zip, this is where we can actually look at the properties of the file and then we can just verify that it did in fact sign this using our certificate created from our certificate authority. So if we view that certificate, we can see that it is in fact the certificate coming from our CA. Um, so at that point, we should be good to go. Now, if you did wanna use a third party CA, the process is gonna be quite similar. So uh, what I've done in this scenario is we created a third party code signing cert that we requested from DigiCert. Now each vendor is gonna be a little bit different how you request and how you export it. But in our case, DigiCert has a utility that we get our certificate from, and then it gives us the ability to export that to a PFX file. So just like we did our publishing service for the PFX that we use for our internal CA certificate, we can simply browse out to our DigiCert, go ahead and enter in the password that we use for that, and then it's gonna overwrite that cert if you already had one in place. So if we come over here, close out of this wizard, now, if we come back into Config Manager and synchronize our software update point again and review the WSync Manager log, it's going to really be the same process. So what we're going to see here is that it's going to detect that we have a new code signing certificate we installed from DigiCert, and it's going to replace that and start using that certificate instead of the internal one that we had in place uh, before. So here we can go, we can see that we are, uh, we, the log found a new certificate and we're gonna insert that new certificate and automatically deploy that to your clients and we're gonna use that new cert whenever we publish a new update. So for example, if we come back into our console and uh, we'll go ahead and choose to publish the 32-bit version of 7-zip. So I'll go ahead and publish that. And if we refresh here, we should see that that previous one is now published. Um, so we'll go ahead and look back at our log file and we'll wait for this to publish. All right, so we went ahead and published the 32-bit version. So if we look back at our content folder, we can just verify that it is in fact signing the cap files with the new certificate from DigiCert. So we'll go ahead and look at properties. Under the digital signature, we can now see that the certificate uh, name is different. And if we go ahead and look at that certificate that we're using to sign updates now, we can now see that this is issued from our DigiCert uh, public CA, and then we're using the Patch My PC code signing cert that we requested from DigiCert. All right, so that looks good. So that's pretty much the process of uh, using a certificate from a certificate authority. Now, if you're not on 1806, you would need to make sure that you still export the public version of this certificate and import that to your client so they trust it. So if you want to do that, we have an option here to export the certificate to a .sir file. So that's going to mean that it's the version that does not contain the private key. So I'll go ahead and just call this WSUS. And then what we could do is go ahead and export that public .sir file. And then we could deploy that into your clients using a group policy um, to ensure that it's within the trusted publishers and the trusted root. So that would be if you're not on 1806 of Config Manager and you don't have the, the feature yet where Config Manager can automatically manage and deploy that certificate to your clients, you could simply export the public version of that certificate and then deploy that through a GPO. And we do have a full video documentation on that. And I'll be sure to include that process in the description of the video, just in case you're not on Config Manager 1806 or newer yet, where you can have that automatically deploy. I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching.